Dave Doran said after the game, we got the curse off our back. It is time for the Wolfpack. I'm I'm stoked about this game. I was very excited. NC State should have won this thing multiple times in regulation. They had 31 first downs to Clemson's 10. They had 386 yards of total offense to Clemson's 214. DJ has problems. 12 out of 26, 111 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. Uh, Devin Leary looked fantastic. Tim Beck had a beautiful offensive game plan. Give me your thoughts on what went on in Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, I thought NC State was a better football team from the time the game kicked off. I really did. <clears throat> the offensive line at Clemson's not good. DJ Uyunglele is not good. These receivers can't get separation. They're not getting open at all. Hey, I this want to is- pause you for a second. I want you to know how proud I am of you for being able to say that because all all last year and even early in the off season yeah. this year, you were not able to say his last name. And the fact that you just knocked that shit out of the park was fantastic. So go ahead. I'm sorry, yeah, man. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, you're good. No, I, 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 and I don't know what happened because. They, it's not like they lost massive amounts of offensive firepower to the NFL. They lost two guys to the NFL from this offense. And both those guys are important. But we assumed that all these – the wide receivers that were getting open for, for Trevor Lawrence last year aren't getting open now. Was Lawrence throwing them open? Because I don't I don't know, well, man. Uh, so, so they did lose uh, Amari Rodgers, right? The, uh, the wide receiver. Yeah, okay. So, so, so they, they lost yeah, three. They yep. But they, they were hanging 40 on folks, and now, now they are struggling. They are fighting like hell with everyone they play to get 14 in regulation. Yes, it, it's really insane. That offensive line is terrible. They are awful, and I don't, know, I don't know the solution. They're all five stars. They're all four and five stars. Well, okay, so here's, here's a little bit of the issue with that. They're, they have not recruited well at the offensive line position. They, they don't have a bunch of five stars on the offensive line. They got a bunch on the defensive line. They got a bunch in other spots, but remember how picky Dabo has always been with the kind of guys that he wants to bring into his program and the kind of guys that he wants to develop. Part of this is offensive line development. They don't have it when when Jeff uh, Scott when Jeff Scott left. I think he took a lot of that offense with him. I, Tony Elliott, I don't feel like was the brains behind that that development process that they went through. Who knows? Like, I, listen, there'll be there'll be a lot of folks. There'll be a lot of folks losing money right now. And I'm not talking about in bets. I'm talking about in jobs. Yes. There are gentlemen that were big name candidates for big boy jobs. And those uh, resumes are getting put to the side. Yes. Right no. now. Tony Elliott. And Tony Elliott's one of them. Yes. Yes. Big time. Big time. So, yes, Clemson goes down. And uh, look, you called it. I mean, you, you said it. I had a tough time believing that Clemson could be this bad. They are. I, they really are. Like there they is really no. Are. I don't even know what to say at this point. They are. They are not good. Let me turn on this other light. I just noticed there's a bunch of shadows. All right. Um, I had. I had. I had Clemson's schedule pulled up because I'm going to tell you this. This. They got this Boston College the, next. This won't be the last law. Now they get them them at home at least, but I don't care. This BC team can score, baby. If you can't find a way to put points on the board against Boston College, you're about to catch another L, and and that's. I'm, I'm telling you, this ain't the last loss they're going to have for the year. It, it, it So they do play Wake late in the year, and Wake looks really good. Uh, but ooh, other than that, ooh. I mean, look. Holy crap. They got, Wake can, Forest. They, they got UConn. They got Louisville. They got Florida State. Pitt, you oh, know, whatever. Yeah, they're going to beat the shit out of a bunch of but, – but, but they, between they, Wake Forest and Boston College, both those are at home. I think they lose another one of those games. And, and we know that Dino always gives them problems, and they have to go to the Carrier Dome in two weeks. So Yeah. That's that could be interesting. That could be interesting. All right. They just can't. They can't score. When you can't score, it makes everything really hard. You are right about that. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B Giannini at Winning Cures, or you can email us Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.